return to Toronto after good. 10 years. Good to see him. I know you spent some time with yeah. him today. Yeah, chat with him earlier. Now with the Chicago Bulls as the radio announcer for a Bulls team that I think has surprised a lot of folks. They're 16 and 22. Oh. Luol Dang, shot doesn't go. And Andrea Bargnani with the rebound. Battling on the inside, Joe Kim Noah and Bosch. Shot clock down to five. Marniani for three. Shot doesn't go, it's short. A great look and unable to get it to fall. Rose is so quick with the ball, Jack. He's big, he can get in the lane and finish on you with that size and that quick step. Thomas sits it underneath and Noah with the slam. That's been an issue for Chicago this year, consistent productivity from their bigs. The Raptors have had that problem with the wing spots. Chicago's had that problem with the bigs. One of the things they've been able to do is win at home. They're 12 and 7 at home. However, on the road, just 4 and 15. Double comes. Box short. And so the first two possessions, 0 oh for 2. Boss short. Bargnani short. Thomas pulls up over CB4, no, and Amun able to grab the rebound. Raptors have dropped two in a row, both to Boston. A Boston team that had lost four straight, but they are just so dangerous. And as you mentioned, Ray Allen Sunday and then Paul Pierce Monday. Shot clock down to four, driving scoop shot, and no call. Raptors trying to get Bosch and Bagnani going here. They've taken the first three shots. Rose, no, as Bargnani was flying by. Moon able to grab it. Will Solomon into the front court. Talked to Jose Calderon to before the game. It's going to be a little while for him. That strained hamstring, second time that he's injured it. Parker off the dribble, good. He's got that in the back. So good at taking the ball hard into the defense. And a little fader. Nice touch. Noah looks to swing it to the far side. Luol Dang is back, so is Kirk Heinrich. He knows who's good tonight. Entry pass denied by Bosch, scooped up Bargnani. Solomon to pushing. Out of the wing, stop it, a pop, and it drops. <laughs> this quarter brought to you by Ford, powered by you. Will Solomon's done a nice job the last few games of pushing it up and pitching it up, getting guys advanced passes, easy looks. Heinrich will return here. Typically a starter. Luol Kang goes in with a left hand. And he sure does. He has that quick first step. And he's so long, Matt, as you mentioned, finishes at the rim beautifully. Marker out of the wing and looking down underneath Moon. Using his length there, Luol Dang knocks it away at the other end. Grabs a pass that was a little bit too long. Thomas. This is a team that will go small. Shot clock down to five. Ben Gordon shot no, second chance opportunity. Won't hesitate, no, Joe Kim Noah. Offensive rebound, third opportunity. Bargnani says enough of that. Raptors pushing once again. Underneath, Bargnani. Great job by Will Solomon, pushing the pace. The big fella gets the rebound and then sprints down the other end, easy two. Rose out of the wing. Entry pass, oh. Noah, good. Ties it at six. We have spent so much time talking about Bargnani and what he's done offensively, but defensively, whistling a foul. He's just been consistent game in and game out. Today. He's made great strides in that area, man. And talking about strides. Will Solomon pushing the ball up the floor, looking the head up, and Andrea, who had just gotten the rebound, gets two points. Good play by both. Will Solomon, two assists already. Kirk Heinrich on the floor for Ben Gordon. What will they do here eventually with Kirk Heinrich? Well, I think they're going to have to make a trade eventually. They have a lot of, of talented perimeter players. Move, jumper, counter. 
Not just Nocioni, there's a guy. Tough. Barnani turnover. Will Solomon quickly ahead. Solomon in the lane. Move. Offensive foul. It's the old down. It's the old line. Moment of decision. When you get between the top of the key and the free throw line, you've got to make a read. You've got to get a snapshot of the five red shirts and know where they are. That time, Will Solomon knew what he wanted to do, but there was a red shirt waiting right there for the charge. Raptors 4-7, Jack. Bulls 3 of 9. Kirk Heinrich out for 31 games, his first return on a Monday against Portland because of a torn ligament in his right thumb. You see it heavily wrapped. Triggers a three. Not a factor there. Kirk Heinrich out of Kansas. And Heinrich in that 2003 draft, the seventh player chosen overall. Signed an extension. This was a Bulls team that the year that the Miami Heat won it all gave them fits in the playoffs, but they disintegrated last year. Ended up with the first overall selection. Derrick Rose from Chicago spent a year at the University of Memphis. So quick off the dribble. It's interesting you mentioned that with the Bulls. They faded last year. Atlanta Hawks took the Boston Celtics to seven last year. At least overall, they've been good. They faded of late, but they've been pretty good. I remember talking to Pat Riley that year, and he said, yeah. Chicago, they came at us like just blood crave pounds. <laughs> and that's what he described it. I like that. <laughs> So Kim Noah lays it up in through. That's a great pass that time by Tyrus Thomas. I mean, that had to be picture perfect to thread the needle, and he did just that. Wrapped his slow, get to finish at the rim. It is always great to speak to, and for Will Solomon, it's a tough guy to handle. But a couple of guys that have been around the league for a long time. Bernie Bickerstaff, Del Harris. I know you spoke to both of them. I spoke, I spoke to both of them. And I asked Bernie about Derrick Rose. He's been in this league close to 35, 40. And he said, listen, he is going to be one of the good ones. And those guys, that, that, their compliments come like you know, manhole cards, right? Totally. They've had great players, both of them, over a long period of time. So that's high praise. Speaking of high praise, Andre Vagnani opened up a lot of eyes across the NBA right now with his play in the year 2009 for the Toronto Raptors. I have to give you credit because when things were not going well, you went out on the line as Heinrich drops another three from the corner. And you have, I mean, when Bargnani wasn't playing well, you were the one guy out there saying, hey, the kid's got it. Oh, he has it. There's no question about it. And now he's getting the opportunity and the role, in my opinion, that he belongs in long term, and he's flourishing. CB4, shot doesn't go. Thomas along with Heinrich. Dang and Rose. Dang to Joe Kim Noah. Impressive. I'll tell you what, the Chicago Bulls are making some awesome passes. Seven assists on eight field goals. Good spacing, great lead ins to shots. Solomon shot doesn't go. Showing some length there with Thomas Dang. And Noah, entry pass, tapped up by Pargnani. I don't know if I've ever seen that. <laughs> I've seen a lot That's of That's how hot he's been, though. He's oh. scoring for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that. He laughs now, but <laughs> oh, foul. Wait, wait, guy threw an alley-oop, and it, oh, well, this is, you got oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. And he's doing, and, and Thomas gets the credit saying thank you very much. I get the two there. Bargnani should be three of five for six points. Exactly. He's got two of four for four. <laughs> Andre, you got it going on, man. I tell you. Il Mago has the mo show. <laughs> I know Raptor fans aren't laughing right now, but it's early in the game yet. Come on. Wow. wow. You know you got it going, right? Aaron Gray checks in for. Chicago, Ben Gordon in. Rose and Noah out. Great job tonight. Eight points, three boards, second foul though. 
pick that one up on Bosch. Gray is a guy that can uh, give him some space inside. He can go to work at the University of Pittsburgh. He is a big body. Seven feet. Looks a little clumsy out there, but he is an effective post player in the second unit. Gray underneath to the cutter, Thomas. Thomas shot no on the offensive glass. Tapped out the wall. Dang. Dang and a foul underneath. Raptors, Matt, are getting beat to the punch tonight. Right now, not playing very good defense, getting beat at the point of attack, giving up second shot opportunities, minus seven with regard to rebounds, and they're not putting the body on people. President's Choice Raptors basketball continues on TSN. Jack Friday as CB4 and the Raptors travel to Indiana take on TJ Ford. It begins 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific, and it's available in high definition. Jermaine O'Neal today said that he's going to practice with the team tomorrow, possibly play against Indiana, his former team, on Friday as Luol Dang is at the free throw line. That decision will be made by Jay Triano whether he does play on Friday night based upon what takes place tomorrow in practice. Rasha Nesterovich also playing against his former team. CB4, shot clock down, 2-4, skip pass, Parker, has got to go, fading, shot short, Joey Graham and an offensive foul. You know, Monday night we saw a team play with great passion and enthusiasm and intensity in Boston, and that's the crazy thing about this league, 48 hours later you're saying, where are those guys? Right now, Jay Triano is asking that same question. That was the question coming out. How are you going to respond? You haven't so far. Gray backing down, cutting, and a foul. Everything Chicago's doing has got a little bit of hop to it. It does. They got the pep and a step. They've already got 10 points in a the paint. They're doing a great job spacing out, getting some weak side cuts. Joey Graham playing defense, but that's his guy. And you gotta bend that guy as he comes through the lane so he can't have that cut. When he cuts in front of you, it's lights out. You're already stuck behind him. You gotta foul him to break the play up. CB4 checks out with two fouls, 0-3 to begin this game. Three straight double-doubles. And second only to Dirk Nowitzki in points per game at the power forward position in the NBA. He's had an excellent year for the Raptors. A little topsy-turvy there in the middle segment, but he's come on of late. And now Chris Humphrey's in the game in place of Chris Bosh. Hump did a nice job the night, Boston. They're going to need some good extended minutes from him tonight. Nine points, four rebounds, Jack. In 20 minutes of action, it was three of five, and he went to the bucket. He didn't just settle for the J, which was good to see. Anthony Parker's going to have to settle for one here as he puts it up and it goes. AP with a shot clock down. Great determination, and he took it to Kurt Heinrich that time. Six points early. Three of four shooting. Tripped up. And is pool. He won the NCAA championship. He hasn't shown it yet on a consistent basis at NBA. 12 ticks remaining on this shot clock with 2.24 remaining here in his first quarter. Joe Kim Noah, very vocal last year as a member of the Chicago Bulls. And everybody's kind of like, eh, enough maybe. He's quieted a little bit and has come out and performed well. There's no Sione out on the floor. I love him. He plays so hard. Nice cut and read as Gordon lays it up and in. It's a 12-point game. Great pass by Gray as well. Again, Chicago doing a beautiful job scoring off the pass tonight. Raptors have to do a better job pressuring the pass, banging cutters. Raptors need to respond. Joey Graham, great job by Joey. Unable to finish. There's no Sione. Sends it ahead, Heinrich. Ben Gordon gives it back to Heinrich. Under two minutes remaining here in this opening quarter. The Raptors trail by 12. Got a lot of time left, but a lot of work to do as Parker takes it on the weak side. Parker into the front court. Looking around, driving. 
And Derek Stafford calls the carry. Stafford in his 21st year, along with Pat Frere in his eighth, and Alondis Poole in his fifth, are three officials tonight. And the Rack is their third turnover. The thing that's really jumping out here early for Jay Triano's team, Jason Capone in the game now for Parker. Parker beside himself there. They've given up 12 points in the paint. They've only got two. So minus 10 in that area. And so much of it is just all basket cuts right now. Gordon. Talking about cuts. That time didn't happen. It's been a 20 to 6 run by Chicago. Jose Calderon. He said it was tough to watch on Monday night. Well, he had to listen to us. <laughs> Poor guy. Here's Capone, a quick trigger. Got it. Jose said he was screaming at the television, telling the guys to do offensively and defensively. I'm sure Jermaine O'Neal's inside no working out, listening to us right now. So a little shout out to Jermaine as he gets ready to try to practice tomorrow and try to return soon. Look forward to that. Roko Ukic. And a foul. Foul's going to be charged on this Rossiomi. Roko, 16 points on Monday. He's got a little pizzazz. He does have some pizzazz, but you know what he has too? Sometimes guys with pizzazz don't possess the internal clock where they're still going to make good decisions. I think he's trying to do the right things when he's out there. Knock it, Roko. Knock it, Roko. can get in the lane, man. And he's strong, and he's long inside. He can finish around the rim. You know, stamina, strength, shooting ability. Those are still things that are standing in the way consistently for him. But... Offensive foul. Tabo Cephalosha on the floor. They have a lot of similar parts. They got a lot of good players at the wing, you know, point guard. And they're too deep at every wing, at every <laughs> perimeter position. The question for John Paxson is maybe he needs to move one or two of these guys to get a quality big man. Sometimes less is more. Yes. Chemistry. Slight differential. Shot clock, game clock. Ukic spinning. Here's Humphrey's jumper short. Heinrich and a foul. 4.1. Tenths of a second remaining here in this opening quarter. And it was the second. And so that means that Heinrich heads to the free throw line. And Heinrich on the season, 88%. Played 21 minutes in his return on Monday as he misfires with that first man. Yeah, it's going to take some time for him. You know, it's one thing to ride the bike and work out in the gym and play three on three. It's a whole different baby when you are trying to get into game shape five on five. And that thumb shooting hand. Yeah, oh yeah. Broco. Launches, no. First quarter comes to an end. It is a nine-point game. Bernie Bickerstaff, Bob O.C. You know, you just, you have guys that are veteran coaches, and he really, in those huddles, listens to his veteran assistants, takes it all in, and then goes into huddle and presents it to his his, uh, his team. You know, you remember a young Phil Jackson, when he coached the Bulls. Tex winner and the veteran coaches he had. Oh, so important for a young coach. Shot doesn't go in. It. The other interesting dynamic is that the veteran coaches, as he entered the huddle, they all pulled back away. It's his show. It's his show. Very important. That was something as a coach I always wanted to have a, a veteran assistant. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough money to pay one, you know? <laughs> but I, I think it's a big thing when you're a young coach to have a guy that talks you off the ledge some nights where you're so frustrated. How many nights were you out on that oh, ledge? I was on the ledge almost every night. That's why I'm here. Jason Capono, one-handed run, the shot doesn't go. Aaron Gray with a rebound, hands it off to Heinrich, but it's easy to get out on the ledge. Oh, totally, and that's why you have a veteran guy that kind of gives you the perspective. They see the forest. A lot of times when you're young, you only see the tree. Minute plus in now to this second quarter, and the Raptors down by a dozen. Aaron Gray down low. 
Gray, one-handed runner, no, and Moon with it. And I'd be remiss with Phil Jackson not to remember mention to Johnny Bach as well. You think of Johnny Bach and Tex Winter, two incredible coaches. It's the same thing now in Chicago, having, Del, having uh, guys like Del Harris and pick a staff with Moon. Pasta foul! Cephalosa commits it. Moon's going to go to the line. Moon, 82% from the free throw line. Mario Moon, he has a good match up here. Defense late, challenging him. Mario knocking it down. 10 point game. This quarter brought to you by Capital One. The one is in. Your wallet on an right tonight, Jack Armstrong. I haven't got my per diem yet for Indiana. I think we're going to Indiana tomorrow, so yes. not as much as I'd like. <laughs> I'll be getting it tomorrow on the plane. I guess our uh, the guy who runs the show for us, Matt Malone, normally gives it to us before we go. Today, typically at the production yes. meeting. Then I could give it to my wife because I don't. <laughs> I'm not allowed to spend money. <laughs> you're, you're one of the guys, and I'm right there with you. When you leave the plane, you have a few extra things in your pockets: water, <laughs> bananas, Potato apples. Chips, that's right. <laughs> right? Well, because the missus spends it all. Yeah. You, know, you have three little boys. I have as three well. little boys. That's right. You gotta. You gotta, when you leave the plane, little, you know, a little extra. I, I always take a lot yeah. of these right yeah. here. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of water. One of these. And a Timmy's, of course. Right. A lot yeah. of aguas, though. Yeah. The water is good for you. Yeah, you gotta be hydrated, very important. Humphreys, shot doesn't go. Tapped out, Ben Gordon into the front court. Nocioni is tough. Finds the open man in the corner. On the floor, one time, Cephalosha. Great ball reversal, there's Nocioni to finish it off. That was picture perfect, folks. 11 assists, 12 field goals. That says it all. Chicago, the ball movement, spectacular this evening. When they reach 100, they are 12 and 6. And they're rolling right now. Heinrich, out of the run. Cephalosha, getting it done. Uh, this, I was just thinking this, and here he comes right now. Chris Bosch, wrapped his stuck 13. I know he's got two fouls, you gotta get him back in. And a timeout taken by Jay Triano. You know, it's always one of those. Offensive rebound tonight. And they're just playing a listless game. I mean, they're just not playing with the kind of energy necessary to get a W against a team like this. Raptors are 16 to 23. Chicago 16 to 22. Chicago's looking at Toronto. Bosch goes in strong. Plus the foul. Count it. But Chicago looks at Toronto the way that Toronto's looking at Chicago, like, hey, we can get one tonight. Absolutely. And if you look at Chris Bosch, he comes in a game with two fouls, but he knows his team needs him to get him going. And he's got to be assertive and aggressive. Missed his first three shots. Good take to the rack that time. Bosch, one of four. He has 21 double doubles on the year. Seven of the last nine games. If I'm Vinny Del Negro, I take a good look at who he's covering, Bosch, and I try to go at him a little bit. Now, Tyrus Thomas doesn't have a great skill game within his offensive arsenal or an offensive rebounder type. But if I'm Del Negro, I try to see if I can go at Bosch a little bit in the next few minutes, get him his third foul. He played for Jim Valvano. NC State, yeah. North Carolina State, of course. Jimmy V, as he is well known. Won a national title, beat Akeem Olajuwon's Houston Cougar team. Shot clock, yeah, 1983. Shot clock down to two, Cephalosha. And the one thing that Jimmy V was, was outgoing, boisterous, rah-rah, get you going. And from Vinny playing for somebody like that, what do you think that instilled in him? Well, I think the ability to read players and to know when to push and pull, when to use positive. And Jim Balvano was a better X and O guy than people give him credit for. Masterful at changing defenses, junk defenses. And I think more than anything else, the push and pull that you have to have over a long season with players. And the fact that Del Negro played a long time in the league, that helps him. Thomas trying to create. Shot doesn't go. Moon able to grab a rebound. 
Parker into the front court. Parker shakes Shimmy. Kick out Loco. Thinks about it. Dribble penetration out of Rose. Gives it to the curling Capono. Open jumper. Oh, no. And Thomas with a board. See, in a few years when Rocco gets that shot, he's going to just finish it. Rose quick to the rack. Lays it up and through. 12-point game. After shooting 38%. How good is that kid? I mean, he just gets in the open court and he just flies by people to the rim. Raptors 2 or 7 in the quarter. Oh! CP4! No call, but he's able to finish! Bosch, two of five, seven points. Ten point game. Deflected. Thomas spinning, loses it. Moon saves it, but Thomas gets it back. Here's Rose. Outside Cephalosha. No. And Rose rebound right to him. Masters have been dominated on the glass. Minus 12 so far on the backboards. Six nothing offensive rebounds to that point. Nocioni to the cutter. Rocco comes away with it. Capono back to Rocco. Bosch up fake. Drives in a foul. Bosch is headed to the free throw line. Thomas picks up the foul. Nobody on the Raptor bench held their breath for a second, hoping it wasn't his third foul there. Thomas trying to step in and take it. Here's Bosch. Defensively. Watch him run down the floor. Recognizing the situation on the catch. Pump fake. I mean, talking about a tough call for an official. That bang bang play, the block charge. Bosch, the benefit of the doubt. Averaging nearly nine attempts a game. And you look at CB4, and he has been consistent. Bosch putting up some pretty good numbers in January. This is the one earlier, Matt, you mentioned. He made the shot. Nocioni definitely hacked him. No call. And I mentioned this earlier. The only other power forward that is averaging more points in the NBA, Dirk Nowitzki. And when you look at the numbers across the board, Bosch averaging more rebounds than Nowitzki. Time still, I don't think Bosch gets the calls that maybe Nocioni gets and some of the other higher end players in the league get. He still hasn't reached that point consistently, in my opinion, with the officials. Gordon out on the outside, another offensive rebound, second chance opportunity. Lou Aldang looking around. Here's Ben Gordon. Gordon, Nocioni. Shot doesn't go. Dang offensive rebound, shot no. Offensive rebound, persistent on the glass. Ten nothing. Persistent, and he had Chris Bosh in front of him with two fouls, and he didn't, he didn't want to get his third, so he didn't play him as aggressively. Ten offensive rebounds for the Bulls. Zeros for the Raptors. Shot no. Nocioni in a foul. Nocioni is one of those guys that he's like he might, he's like a bad. He dance with some race car driver. Yeah, I think Helio uh, Castroneves. Yeah. Who is he? IRL driver, Indy 500, and we're heading to Indiana Brickyard 500. Did you ever do? Have you ever done racing? I have never done <laughs> racing. Shot no. I know having been in Charlotte. Yeah, you don't NASCAR. chew. You don't chew tobacco or anything like yeah, that. No. You know, you, that's that's a misnomer. That's a misnomer. Richard Petty uh, flag in front of your house and all that. Sometimes. They all hurt hard. I think the Indy fight is coming back here to Toronto. The race. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Not a race car fiction. No. Really? I tell you, I tell you what. You know what? Just don't turn right. That's just don't key. turn right? It's, yeah. Because then you go into the wall. Exactly. Good idea. I right? like that. You just gotta turn left. Turn yeah. turn left. Just 
Keep it left. Keep it left. Okay, I'll follow that Keep advice. It Don't ever turn right. I like it. I like it. 538 to go. And it is a nine-point game. Bargnani back it out there, and there is a foul. And a good job. First offensive rebound yep. of the night. The crowd appreciating it. And dang. This second foul of the game. Thomas with two, Noah has three, Ray has a couple, he picked it up. And so Bargnani at the line, four points, four rebounds. Five team fouls for Chicago, so you've got to be more aggressive You're in that situation. And the magician, he's been that, hasn't he? Sure has. And, uh, everywhere you look at those numbers, Matt, spells confidence assertiveness I belong and that shot that shot the other night against Boston wow I mean he ice water in the veins and showing emotion having some fun good to see a young man develop before your eyes you've been here for every game that he has played one of the better moments in his oh, yeah. early career was Monday, right? Yeah, I would say so. I remember his rookie year against Portland making a, a big shot. Uh, but that's an even big. When you play the NBA champs on the road, that's as big as it gets uh, for a kid like that. And speaking of Dave Triano, he just said he is engaged. He is Andrea Pagliani kickball. And also just the emotion of making a big shot and seeing him pump his fist and smile and those sort of things are important. Right, you're right, Matt. And I think, too, he's a bigger piece of the puzzle now. And when you feel like you're being counted on more, you give a little more of yourself, not only physically, but more importantly from an emotional standpoint. Raptors getting a little bit stiffer on defense. And there's a block mode and now being held up. Clear path to the basket. Two shots in the ball. Here we go right here. Jamario Moon saying, get that little perimeter garbage out of here and get your hands off my shirt. I don't think they're going to call a clear path to the basket because Alonis Bull said he didn't have control of it. So it's going to be two shots. Tune in tomorrow for the NHL on TSN presented by Molson. As the Toronto Maple Leafs take to the road in Carolina to face off against the Hurricanes. Live coverage begins 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Available on I got TSN beat, I got beat uh, the other night by uh, Nashville 2-0. Leafs got to pick it up a notch. So no, no clear path to the basket because he did not have control. Mario Moon. Paul Maurice coaching against his former team, the Toronto Maple Leafs. So... Luol Dang, shot clock at seven. Turnover, Raptors getting it done on the defensive end in a seven point game. Rocco finds Bosch, Bosch up fake on Gray. Now drives in strong and he draws contact. But he gets whacked upside the head. Man, you know what's crazy about this game? The Raptors have been totally, totally outplayed. And now at CB4 at the line, they could end up, they could end up being down a possession after these two free throws. Nuts! But here's Chris Bosch driving to the basket. Good strong take, and Heinrich trying to take the charge, and Bosch getting banged pretty hard there. But look at he's trying to split it. And uh, that hurts a little bit. Yeah. Aaron Gray. Aaron Gray. Out. Yeah. And 30 second officials timeout. I think Gray He's may got some have. Blood, yeah. yes. So that's why. But the tone defensively, Jack, has changed here over the last minute or so. One of the reasons why it's now a five point game. Well, and Chicago's turning the ball over a little bit now. Why? Because Toronto's picked it up a notch with their intensity level on the perimeter and physicality, banging cutters is great. Like, build a training room there. Aaron Gray headed to the locker room. With 4.48 remaining. And 
Next three games, Indiana, then Phoenix. Captain Canada comes back home on Sunday. Steve Nash and Shaq. Amari Sarr, they're playing great basketball. I watched the game last yeah. night. Nice win at home. And, and the Hawks at Atlanta on a Monday on the score, and then one of the craziest schedules I've ever seen. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, out all week in the Eastern Conference. Exactly. De Detroit on Wednesday, and then uh, Chicago on Friday. Yeah. I love it, the cold weather, the Midwest in January. Where else would you rather be, Matt? T.O. Home. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather be in your own bed. Yeah. 446 remaining here in this first half and Bosch unable to get that first one to go. He has 10 points. Rumor has it you're gonna go curling when you go to Minneapolis in that, February. Yes, I'm looking forward to that. I did that last year. Yeah. I had a great time. I look forward to it. Oh, you're, you're, I, My grandmother was a great curler. By really? Way. Yes. She uh, curled for the uh, Albany Schenectady I'm team back in 1958. I actually have the pin. I'm going to bring it up. She's got game. Okay. She did. Shot clock down to five. Active defensively. Behind the back pass in a crowd. And it's going to be Chicago ball with just one second of remaining. I have some curling skills as well, man. I heard that. 12, 12 ounces. <laughs> Lots of them. Four point game. 4.23 remaining. In the corner. Great spot. Unable to find it. Another offensive rebound. Thomas, get out of the way. Well, you got to come up with that loose ball. Raptors don't come up with it. Easy two. Raptors shooting just under 38%. Here they are in a six-point game. They trail by 13. CB4 got it. He has 13 top score in this game. Has 11 here in this second quarter, playing with two early fouls. 3.45 remaining here in this first half. First meeting between the Raptors and the Bulls. Kang looks to swing it. Now puts it on the deck. Driving out of Bargnani. Bargnani, excellent defense. To the cut underneath. Good cut by Rose. That's what they're killing the Raptors with. The cuts, 15 of the 17 field goals have come off the pass. And the Raptors just not doing a good job picking up cutters going through the lane. Double comes Bargnani from deep. Bang on! Three. 17 for his last 26 from downtown coming into this game. Who all dang no. Heinrich controls it again. Turnover, here's Rock and Rocco. Rocco in the lane, off balance, doesn't go. Loose ball foul, and if it's on CB4, that stings. It is his third. He's got to sit the remainder of the quarter now. And he has been in Chicago for a while. And it does a good job. 2.35. Bosco on the floor. For Bosch, who picked up his third. Shot clock at seven. Now down to six, to five. Here it is at four. Bargnani comes out. The cut rose good. What a great pass and tough mid-range shot by Rose. He's got that ability to make that little eight footer. He's got sweet touch around the rim. Bargnani, open look, count it. Andrea Bargnani into double digits. He is a wonderful catch and shoot guy. When he comes off in rhythm, we don't see that enough. That's something we don't see enough of yet. But he is terrific coming off on the hop and finishing. Gordon loses control. Jamari Moon comes away with it. Eighth turnover by Chicago. On the run, Big Jake! Offensive foul. Former Chicago Bull, Jake Boskell. And Tyrus Thomas. When you're looking around, looking to dish, although he's running, I don't necessarily know you want to give the big <laughs> fella the ball. And this is the mistake that a Will Solomon makes. Yeah. You know, here's the old line. I heard a coach a long time ago use. 
You got a Cadillac on one side and a Studebaker on the other. Give it to the Cadillac. When in doubt, if you don't want to give it to either, pull it out. Whatever you do, don't give it to the Studebaker. Give it to the Caddy. Huh? Give it to the Caddy. Nocioni, shot doesn't go, and Will Solomon tracks it down. Raptors have battled back. Well, it is a three-point game. For our young audience, a studio baker was an old car. So. Solomon drills it. It's a one-point game now. Defense by Barnani. The hooker. Solomon. Come on. And a one point lead. How crazy is this game? Defense. Nine turnovers now by Chicago. Brady. Eric Rose. I want to talk about Andre Barnani. We're going to talk about maybe MVP, coach of the year, rookie of the year. We got it all covered. Most improved. We'll cover it all, man. Look forward to that. 24 10 run. Deflection. Last touch by Will Solomon. Andrea Barnani getting it done defensively. Raptors have forced nine first half turnovers. That's one of the reasons why this game has swung in favor of the Raptors with 37 seconds remaining here in this first half. Derrick Rose out front, eight points, two rebounds, four assists, something special. Thomas, shot doesn't go, Bargnani, his fifth rebound. Five second differential, game clock, shot clock. Andrea Bargnani, catch and shoot again, bang on! Andrea Bargnani has 10 in the quarter. 14 in the game. Four point lead, the largest for the Raps. And a foul. With one to give. Andrea Bargnani has been such a superb shooter over the last nine games. Kirk Heinrich, a three. Heinrich with the response. It's a one-point game. And that remains. Andres Parker sends it into Will along with the moon to Bosch into Bargnani. By the way, Aaron Gray, four stitches in that collision with the Bosch. For the Bulls, and he is expected to play in the second half. Here's Bargnani, up fake. Thomas commits the foul, and Thomas picked up his third. Aaron Ray will be back. Stitch me up, Mick, right? Come on. Cut me. Cut me, Mick. Andrea Bargnani, four points, five rebounds, five is seven in the first half. Over the last eight games, 21 points, nearly seven rebounds. 53% on the field, close to 60 from beyond the arc. Here he is down low. Luol Dang on him. Goes in confidently, and a travel's going to be called. I just don't know. El Mago's got the moves. This quarter brought to you by Hyundai, and you have a very inquisitive look on your face. It doesn't really look like a walk to me. I don't know. Sometimes when big men are so graceful on their moves, Referees get surprised they can actually do that, and they call it. So you got to be doing something illegal. I'm not sure. Bang Gordon cut off by the presence of Bargnani. Rose gives it. Here's Thomas Jumper. Makes it six points. He has three of eight from the field. Bargnani. Looking for the high-low feed, disrupted by Thomas. Luol Deng, ahead to Gordon, denied by Bargnani, but a foul prior. And hey Matt, here's the replay. Paul Graham racked it up here. Let's see. In the post. They let a lot of big guys in this league do that. He took a little extra step there, but it's a crab dribble. <laughs> Here's a crab dribble. 
Uh, three officials together. But, you know, if you're Andre, you got to watch video of that now and say, okay, that's part of my game. And you got to determine whether the refs are going to let you have it as part of your game. If they don't, then you got to take it out. It looked pretty fluid and natural to me. That's why I'm a little surprised, but hey. Foul on Will Solomon. All three officials, excellent job coming together. Stafford, Frer, and Poole. So Solomon picks up the foul. That's his third. Shot doesn't go. Parker with a rebound. Bargnani gives it up. Solomon on the floor one time. Shot. No. Bounds hard off of that soft rim. See, when Bagnani was slumping, he would have forced that shot. But he knows he's going to get it back, so he doesn't force it anymore. Luol Dang nearing a double-double in his second game back. Ten points, eight rebounds. Again, excellent ball movement by the men in red shirts. They are being unselfish tonight. CB4 and rolls around and through. Ah, I gotta love it. The home rims, the shooters bounce. All the great ones have it. Boss with 15. You know, a lot of Raptor fans are so used to having a guy like Jose Calderon run the point that they're critical sometimes of Will Solomon. You know, and he's one for three, two points tonight, five assists. Here's Benny Del Negro there. But Will Solomon is doing a nice job defensively, moving his feet, keeping Rose in front of him. Jumper doesn't go, Lou All Dang nine, rebound. Games played on two sides of the court. Will doing a pretty good job with the deep. Derrick Rose. There's so another got a piece of it. Here's Moon. 11 turnover. And Bargnani's fouled by Thomas. Will Solomon make me look like I actually know what I'm talking about. And uh, doing a good job defensively, knocking that ball loose, creating the turnover. And Andre Bargnani. Here he is running the floor. He runs the floor well for a big man. And he gets hammered. Parker swings it up top. Bargnani up fake. Looking for space and creating contact. All coming together. And, and let me tell you what Tyrus Thomas is thinking. Scouting report. Scouting report. Scouting report. Film session. Film session. What's the coach saying you? When you play number seven, Bagnani, get out and play his three-point shot. Get out and play his three-point shot. So what's he thinking? Three-point shot. So what's Andre thinking? Pump fake. Get him off his feet. Smart. Upcoming home games. See the Suns and Kings on January 25th. Check the Toronto Star for 25% off. Call 416 Eight seven two five thousand. Right now, the officials are headed over. They want to see if it was a two or a three. And uh, I'm sure our good friends here in the truck are helping them out, giving them all the right videos. It's the beauty of modern technology. And this is something that they were able to do, implemented this year for the season, and they can check to see if it is a two-pointer or a three-pointer. I love when the security comes over as well at the stands guard for the referees. For, you know, Vinny Del Negro, Jay Triano, they don't want the coaches too close. Hey, look at the security. Yeah, I'm not going near there. No. Look at a young lady, young man. I'm not going. I'm not messing with her. She's got a serious look on her face. to protect those officials. You know, so still checking it out. Football, they go in that little booth, you know. Yes. No booth here. No booth here. We got two. It's a two. There goes the security guards. Go off the court. Yeah. Everything's copacetic. And so it is a two, not a three. And 
So Bargnani gets two free throws. Andrea tonight, two of two from the line on the season, 85%. Matt, you know, a lot of people get caught up in the replay and all that. If it's done quickly and efficiently like it was there, and it's a difference of a point, boy, oh, boy, at the end of the game, that could be a huge difference. Oh, no question. Ties it up. 51 all. You think of how Andrea Bagnani made that game tying three in Boston the other night. How did the second quarter finish in Boston the other night? What if the Raptors didn't give up that last basket at the end? You know? Maybe Andre doesn't have to make that shot. Who knows? But every little point counts in every instance during the course of the game. The things you mentioned about the scouting report getting up on him. One of the reasons why 19 for his last 29 from three-point range. Bargnani now is 16. Top scorer in the game. Hedging hard, Bosch. Defense great. Swarming. Bosch and Parker. Nocioni shot clock down to four. Derrick Rose licking he split into the lane. No. Parker snares it. Raptors get a stop. Bargnani running out of the wing. Trailing is Bosch up top, Will. Solomon driving. Gives it back to Bosch. He'll take the jumper. He makes a jumper over Derrick Rose. Solomon and Bosch go screen and a step back. And Bosch so good at that shot. Bosch over the last five, averaging a double double. 22.8 and better than 10 rebounds. Shot clock at five. Nocioni spin move. And he is fouled. Fouled by Jamario Moon. Raptors, you mentioned this earlier, Matt, playing a lot more aggressively in terms of their perimeter defense, the energy level, putting more pressure on the pass. Put more pressure on the ball. Pushing the ball down to the baseline. Aggressive help. Like aggressive rotations. So Jay Triano has gotten into his team and they have responded here as the game has progressed. From Argentina. 6'7", 230, 29 years of age. We talked earlier about a blue guy. He was a significant part of those Bulls teams when they were starting to put things together and making the postseason. But he's what I call a winning player. Yeah. You know, you put him on your roster, you know, he's not going to get 20 a night for you, but he's going to bring some great intangibles for you that can be a big difference between winning and losing. Anthony Parker finds Bosch. Bosch. With Noah out on him, sizing him up, goes strong with the flush. CB4 schools Noah. He's knocking down jump shots tonight. You got to respect that. You got to play him a little tighter, and he's got that blow by ability. Noah didn't take that class at Florida. Who all dang comes in with the slam? Speaking of blow by ability, Dang has that. And as good as Bagnani has played defensively, when he's got to go out of that far away from the basket, he's going to get exposed off the bounce. Solomon looking around. Coaching now gives it to Bosch. Bosch sticks it, just what you said. Because now Noah, what did Noah do? He backed off because he worried about getting feet off the bounce. Open Jimmy. A lot of fond memories of 10 years working with Chuck. And Matt, I hope to have 10, maybe 20 with you. Count it for 30, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it that long. Just buckle it up. They'll be reeling us old geezers in. It was great to see Chuck at halftime and certainly well-deserved. 58-55, Toronto with a three-point head advantage. 6.35 to go in the third. Fading, Parker, no. And Luol Dang ahead and a blocking foul on Will Solomon. Solomon, it's a sports foul there. And trying to make a play on Rose. This will be a good test now for Roko Ukic. Bosh.
Bargnani battling Nocioni for position. He goes in and he gets the roll. Six. Need a 55. He is rolling right now, Andre Bargnani. Every aspect of his game. 18 points. Gets a leaner to go. Then he comes over, flies by Nocioni. Bosch has taken it to the next level here in the third quarter, in another gear, Matt. Who wants to join Bosch and Bargnani, the killer bees? Because they are lighting it up. Bargnani looking around. Bargnani feeling it. Oh, shooter's touch. And he's telling Datriano about it. I got the shooter's touch. Ben Gordon's got it, too. Well, he's a streaky shooter as well, Ben Gordon. Only two of eight tonight. But he's one of those guys that can knock three or four down in a row. Roko Ukic pops out. All 14 points here in the third quarter earned by Bargnani and Bosch. Ben Gordon has five straight for Chicago. No sleep on him. And Ukic, nice job getting to the rim. Just got to finish. The good thing is he gets there for a young point guard. Now I got to be able to consistently finish. Roko out of the wing, up top, Parker. Parker gives it up to Moon. Moon with the up fix. Shot clock at a five. Jamario, step back, strip, turnover. Two-point game. 4.35 remaining in the third. Oh. Ben Gordon going on a run by himself. No. He likes to shoot, by the way. News bullets in, huh? Ben Gordon, only, he's not a bit shot. He's jacking it up, shoot his mentality. He's speaking of a guy with a mentality to score. Andrea Bagnani, 7 of 9 tonight. I mean, you're talking about high-end play. The guy's got 20 points on 9 field goal attempts. Going to school inside, knocking down jumpers on the perimeter. Again, Matt, 20 points on 9 field goal attempts. You've got to love that. He's not hogging the ball. The ball doesn't stick to him. When he has good shots, he takes it. When he doesn't, he swings it. Decisiveness. It creates better chemistry on your team. Bosch and Bargnani combined 14 of 21. They have 41 of the 62. And now, of course, after that, 41 of the 64. The bench has to start producing for the Raptors, being outscored 19 to 4. Bosch with a rebound. Capono, Rocco, along with Moon, Bargnani, and Bosch on the floor. Aaron Gray back out there. The big man on to Bosch. Nocioni on Bargnani. Bargnani swings it to Moon, and the shot doesn't go. Can't settle for jump shots. Got to continue to attack the rim. Moon has 11 points. The bench has made just two field goals. Ukic and Capono, one each. Underneath, laying it up and through, Luol Deng. That's an example of a good possession for Chicago. They swung it side, top, side. When you swing the ball around the horn and teams have to adjust and rotate defensively, get good shots. Capono, catch and shoot! He's been better of late, shooting it a lot better. Wave it off and a travel on Kirk Heinrich. The Iowa native looking around saying, not me. Kirk Heinrich. Tell you what, if you're a Bulls fan, you gotta like what you see from him tonight though. 10 points in 18 minutes, three assists, three boards. For a guy who missed so much, he's been playing well. And Chris Bosch sitting down for a quick blow here. Played a terrific third quarter there, Matt. 21 points, three rebounds. 7 to 12. Bargnani. Shot doesn't go. Rare miss. Joey Graham on the floor. Nocioni driving, contested, and a foul. Foul on Jamario Moon. And a timeout. On the floor, second foul. More than willing now to go in there and mix it up. We didn't see that as rookie year. He was exclusive in terms of trying to do a lot of stuff on the perimeter. But look at it right here, ducking in and working in the post. Beautiful job going to the basket. Fun to 
much, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's like a few years ago when Jose Calderon burst on the scene in his second year. Just a joy to watch a guy get better. Turnover, Joey Graham. Eighth turnover by Toronto. Aaron Gray backing down. Bargnani staying with him. The cut, and Joey Graham slides over and does it. Graham the other way. Pipono touch pass Moon. Moon takes it short. Don't fall in love with the jumper. Continue to attack the defense. You don't have a Bosch in the game right now. Someone's got to generate some kind of offense other than just settling. Deep post position. No, Bargnani with the rebound, his seventh. Andrea Bargnani has scored 20 or more in now six of the last nine games. Bargnani! Unable to finish. And it, it would have been a surprise if it went in. Smart play, though. He had Aaron Gray covering him on that right baseline, Matt. And this, he can't cover him. Look, he's he's begging for the ball. Give it to me. Give it to me. See ya. That is a classic blow by. I mean, Aaron Gray does not have the lateral quicks to get to the baseline and cut him off. So that's good recognition. No one who's checking you. And I'm very surprised that Benito Negro right now has an Aaron Gray covering Bunyani. I'd have a Nocioni, a more mobile defender, and hide a gray on a guy like Joey Graham or Jamario Moon. Subway wrap-up, Subway eat fresh on the glass despite being down 12 in that category. Raptors up three, Jack. Look at the third quarter numbers between Bosch and Bargnani here. Given the Raptors a good bounce here. And for those of you that missed the Jackies at halftime. That's a big, uh, we gotta get that sponsor. Were, well, wait till Friday. Friday, we're going to have a larger segment here on TSN. That's yeah, right. TSN with the Jackies. Very much like the Gemini's. I do a Campbell. I do a Campbell. I do a Campbell's Chunky Soup commercial for them. You know, the coaches award. Yes. So maybe we can get the, our good friends at Campbell's to sponsor. Who knows? There you go. You're working it. 67 66. I like that. Maybe a soup can. You know, you never know. <laughs> a little chicken noodle soup. Capono gives it to Moon. Moon flies in. No, Bargnani sticks it back up and through with the offensive rebound and the putback. 23 large. Three point game. Under a minute remaining here in this third quarter. No Sioni. Cephalosian. They'll give him the jumper and he makes it. This game has gotten a lot more tempo, pace, personality to it here in the third quarter. Both teams playing a little better, sharper game offensively. And foul, Joey Graham, offensive, offensive foul. Heinrich gives you those blue collar defensive plays, and here's Andrea Bagnani. The pin down, looking to move it without the ball, gets inside position, so important. Posting up, now look at him get on the glass. Good awareness. Nothing pretty, nothing fancy, but it's two points in a book. Bosch and Bargnani combined for six points in the first quarter. Since that time, they have been a sensation of Bargnani. Since then, 19 points. And 19 for Bosch, combined 38. Since the first quarter of play. Toronto by one. They led by one at halftime, 48-47. Six seconds now remaining in the third. Roko Ukic with Rose on him. Roko in the lane, gets by, lays it up and through. How about that number one pick? Roko gets by him. Three-point lead, 71-68, Jack, and Bargnani efficient, eight of 11. He might be Chris Bosch, rocks. Roko Ukic commits the foul. 
is Andre Bagnani. 23 points tonight. You know, if Bosch didn't play the last three minutes of the third quarter, we'll probably see Bagnani sit here for a few minutes. That's what Jay Triano does. He tries to utilize the back end of a quarter, that extra time off between quarters as well, to give you a longer extended break. And then you have that finishing ability down the stretch. Go to the whip. Derrick Rose, good from the free throw line, tied at 71. This quarter brought to you by our good friends at MGD. Miller, genuine draft. Capono entry pass. Bosch knocked away. No Sione. We talked about No Sione being on Bargnani. They put No Sione on a Bosch here. We need that. You need a mobile defender. With Bosch, as much as size is a factor, you got to utilize quickness with him and get up into his game. And Barnett did that so well. Boss, can he finish? No. It was a nice jab step pullback. 21 points tonight for Boss. I think now with the way that Bargnani is playing, I mean, it's not a flash on the pan sort of thing. He's showing you enough skills and habits that th those are things that are in his game. Luol Dang dumps it off. And Cephalosha finishes. Luol Dang with a double-double. Hapt is minus 12 in terms of points in a paint. Chicago's very effective there with the penetration. Roko Ukic has it knocked away. Chicago by two. Raptors led by three entering this fourth quarter. Cephalosha pulls it back. Kick out of Rose. Rotation. No Sione with the ball fake. Oh, man, that was sweet. 7-0 run here in this fourth quarter. Good time out here by Jay Triano. Close game the whole night. Don't let the momentum swing here. No Sione. Oh, he just... He just, he just schooled the Raptor defense there. Come on, you, you're a croner. You oh, got yeah. the Dean Martin. <laughs> you put it enough on the second bus. Oh, yeah, on the second bus. That's right, life on the second bus. 75-71. Crank out some tunes now and then. You got the, the nightclub act going. Jump clock down to four. Double comes. Bosch spins away from it. Bargnani offensive rebound. Gets it back. Shoots, too strong, Cephalosha rebound. I will say this, the fact that you get an offensive rebound doesn't mean you have to force the shot. Fresh 24, get it out. That was a tough shot on the board. Four point game, under 10 minutes remaining in this contest. First meeting between the Bulls and the Raptors this season. Nice cut underneath in the lead by Nocione Rose finishes. Matt, we're seeing what we saw in the first quarter. You know, that great ball movement, the ball humming. They've stretched out their spacing a little bit in their offense. Raptors again got to put more pressure on the ball. Too easy the looks. Raptors have yet to score here in the fourth. Bulls are four of four. Bargnani deep post position gets bumped. He'll go to the line. Strong though with the ball. And, and, and nice recognition by Bosch. But again they can play together. For people that say they can't. Look at this right here. Beautiful cut. Big to big. And uh, good job there by the two big men. And then I talked about before, Chicago. Look at the ball humming around the perimeter. And then bang, great pass by Nocioni. Nocioni's made an impact here of late. His defense on Bosch and just his aggressive nature, willingness to make the extra pass, always on the attack, gives your second unit a little bit of an identity and a personality. Five-point game. Bargnani with 24 points. He is 7 of 8. 25 points tonight for Andrea Bargnani. The last time he didn't score double figures, December 29th at Golden State. Since then, the fewest points that he has scored, 18. And that was against Orlando in a win. Shot clock down to 5. Extra pass. Derrick Rose, 7 of 12, 15 points, 9 assists. Rookie of the year? Oh, I think so. And I, I tell you what, for a team with a lot of skilled players, they surely like each other. They share the ball. Really fun to watch. Woo! 
Bargnani up fake. Over Cephalosha. Sticks it. Bargnani, 27 points. No, Sione, this is a three, and it's good. Mentioned it before. He has come on. I'm a huge Nocioni fan. I like a lot of the guys on this roster. I just think they got to go get a big man somehow. They're going to have to trade one or two of their perimeter guys. Fox. Here's Parker. Parker for three. Rolls around and through. AP from the corner. Rapid has got to control this Bulls team. A little more pressure on passes. And the Raptors. Show a little zone defense now, Matt. Changing it up a little bit. They've struggled defensively of late with their man coverages, so they're showing zone. Heinrich. Bash with a rebound. It's a big one. His four. One for one with the zone, man. Will. a lot of confidence in his game. Big shot. Will made a big shot in Boston the other night as well. Defender. Draw the second defender. Somebody else is open. And sooner or later, you get a high percentage shot. Rose, count it. Pretty impressive. Out of a timeout, Vinny Del Negro. And they call on the youngster to get a shot. He's got a double-double tonight. 17 points, 10 assists. The sixth double-double of the season. Had a career high at Atlanta. 27 of Argnani. And it bounces out. And the foul on Nocioni. Hey, uh, Membo to Andrea Bargnani. You got a teammate in Chris Bosch. You know what? He's got the confidence now. I might not be A number one. But I'm okay being A number two. And he's playing like that right now. You know what I'm saying? He's getting the ball and he wants it. Sunday, the road to the Super Bowl. Jack goes through Pittsburgh as the Steelers take on the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC Championship. With the winner moving on to Super Bowl 43. And Tampa Bay live coverage begins. On TSN, 6 o'clock Eastern, 3 o'clock Pacific, and you like... I'm going with Pittsburgh. Yeah. I think Baltimore is really banged up. I love Ed Reed. Flacco's had a nice year. Ray Lewis, hard nose, but I like Pittsburgh. The other game, I want Philly, but I also love Kurt Warren. I don't know, I can't pick that one. Arizona, in your life. wouldn't it be something if the Arizona Cardinals did it? I mean, they have been so mediocre for so long, going back to when they were the Chicago Cardinals before they even went to St. Louis. Pretty bad. And brutal. 86 83. Bargnani, strong move. Il Mago! 31 tonight. Folks, for all Career you, high. For all you people that wanted this guy traded. Look in the mirror. You probably were one of them. Bargnani with a rebound. He's got a double double. Timmy Little Timmy. Hoys. Little Timmy. Order it up. I'll take an extra large Timmy. Double double. 86 85, but the Bulls still on top by one. We gotta get turned on to this coffee thing. I never, I never got into it. You on a Timmy's double double. <laughs> watch out. Nocioni, watch out from downtown. He plays like he's on a little Timmy Timmy double double. 89 85. Near the five minute mark of the fourth. Will Solomon, no. Bosch with an unbelievable rebound. Take killer from the corner. Sione. No, no rebound snared by Parker. Has Jake Killer. No. Tapped around. Parker controls. 
possession for the lead. Boss. Nociliano. Double comes. Bargnani. Parker fading. Tough shot in the face of Lou Alden. Anthony Parker with 11. One point game. Raptors 90 89. Four in double figures for the Raptors. Man, that was a pretty cool last possession. The Raptors is playing with incredible energy. The last two, Hustle makes it happen. Look at Bosch get on the offensive boards. This is where you get the three. Disorganized defense off the second shot. And here it is. Great ball movement, Bargnani, the penetration. Wow. And Anthony Parker knocking it down. But right now, Last minute and a half or so, the Raptors playing with great determination and energy. Winning those loose ball battles, second chance opportunities. The guy's having a good time. Career best performance. He has scored 29 this season. Tying his career high. That 29 came in overtime against New Jersey here. And tonight, 31 points. First time in his career that he has scored 30 or more. What a performance by Andrea Bargnani. Extra pass. Nocioni gets it back. Heinrich gives it up. Ben Gordon, the three. Count it. Ben Gordon, the three. Bulls by two. Chicago's bread and butter has been the ball movement. 32 assists, 37 field goals. Shut the crowd right up. That's what you do when you're a road team. Bulls are 10 of 13 in the quarter. Will Solomon off the dribble. No. 92-90, to the rack, oh, Derrick Rose with an explosive step. Will Solomon misses the layup down one end and then gets exposed off the bounce there. Can't hang, can't hang your head there. Rose, spectacular. And a foul, look at this. I mean, this is somebody that just went into fifth gear. Solomon turns the corner on and misses the layup, but keep an eye on Derrick Rose here. Oh, boy. I mean, he blew by five white shirts. And now, Will Solomon checking out. And he is not happy. And the guy shouldn't be happy with it is himself. Andrea Bargnani guarded tightly. And they're going to wave it off and he traveled. That's a good call. And that was terrific defense by Luau Deng. Good strategy that time by Vinny Del Negro, putting a little smaller, quicker guy on Bagnani. And what he did was he crowded him so much, his feet got tangled up on his footwork trying to step through on the up and under. It's something you gotta continue to improve on. Watch out for Derrick Rose. That last move he had was like jumping on the autobahn. You gotta get it and go when you get on that thing. Foul. It is. 490. Heinrich at the line. Two stats that really jump out at me, Matt. Raptors are minus 20 in points in the paint. They've allowed way too much penetration, and the ball movement of Chicago has been great. They've got to tighten that up here. And they've given up plus 12 as well behind a three point line. Slow to get out and contest shots. And down the stretch here, if they're going to come back, those are two areas that got to get cleaned up defensively. Broco looking for Boss underneath. Hammered by Nocioni. Fourth.
96 to 90 as Bosch heads to the free throw line. The Killer Bees tonight, 52 points. Bosch, 7 to 9 from the free throw line. And 8 of 10 and one of the best. One of the best at getting to the free throw line. Dwight Howard, but he doesn't do it at the pace that CB4 does. Wade, Harris, Martin, Bosch. Thing that stands out there is the position that he plays. Because Dwight Howard gets there because He's he doesn't beast. shoot it. Yeah, and he doesn't shoot it well, right? But here, how about those numbers to the supporter? Bosch shoots 82%. Andrea Bagnani shoots 85, and Jermaine O'Neal shoots 80. So that's a wonderful thing when your big guys all shoot it well. So you, can, you can close some possessions on the back end with the charity strike. Parker in the lane, drives, finger roll, good. Rebound, comes down, and finishes. Yeah, two things. Getting stops here down a stretch. Contain a dribble. Contest on the three. Derrick Rose. Didn't do it. 23 Not tonight. 42 points in a paint tonight. Again, they're getting exposed off the bounce there. String people out. Under two minutes left. Parker. Here's Moon. It's a three. No. Last touch by Chicago. To the cutter, boss! What a cut and a finish! What a phenomenal possession in terms of execution. Screen usage, easy two. Great discipline. Two point game. Rose getting busy. 25 tonight, just too shy of his career best. The it factor, the wow factor, whatever you want to call it, he's got it. Schooling the Raptors off the bounce, owning them in the paint, breaking people down off the bounce. He is special. High screen, goes over it. Bragnani, they switch it off, and he splits the two guys that were guarding the ball screen. On the flip side, the Raptors, a little big screen by Bagnani, and Bosch does a great job using the screen. Perfect pass by Parker, hooking him up. Again, good discipline by Parker, waiting on that play to develop. And Bosch using the screen beautifully. I made this point before, I'll say it again. The Raptors, inability to control the dribble at the point of attack, a huge problem tonight. That kid has been sensational. 25 points. 10 assists. And, and 17 in this quarter, Jack. Oh, boy. And 18 field goals. He's gotten 25 points. So he's efficient as well. And, and that's been an issue. Containing the dribble and getting the shooters. And their ball movement has been unbelievable. Think he's pretty good? <laughs> He is proving why he's the number one, but a lot of people do that. I mean, like most well, Beasley, people have, yeah. A lot of people say Beasley, too, but and it's tough for a young guy to play in his hometown. Yes, and, excellent and, point. And it's not like he's a guy that played in college for four years. He's a little more mature. He's a young guy, and he's handled it really well. 20 years of age. Four-point deficit. Raptors down. Bosch, strong move, slides through. No call. Timeout taken by Chicago. This is what we call a sureness possession. You're up four. You're on the road. You got a chance to stick the knife in. Make sure you do it. Doesn't go. Walker right to Parker. 
the foul here 15 seconds go off the clock and that's not a good foul right there they took way too long Matt to give that foul because now Chicago has the whole 14 now you got to give another one here you got to give that foul early in the clock particularly when you have one to give four tenths of a second that's the differential it was five seconds oh, mistake by Kirk Heinrich. Raptors have life. Unbelievable. Here it is right here. Will Solomon, good job on the ball. And Chris Bosch just turned around and hit. Each team with a timeout left. 20 second timeout. Timeout advances the ball beyond midcourt. Three quarter court. Will Solomon will enter. Alondis Poole telling Kirk Heinrich what he can and cannot do as far as approaching Will. Capono up high. Slicing through Parker. Here's Bosch. Joe Kim Noah on him. Bosch goes up. Contested and blocked. Must foul does. Tell you what, they got the matchup they wanted, and Yoakam Noah stood up to the task. He was really good defensively, and Bosch didn't have the blow by ability. Look at this, this is good defense. He couldn't get anywhere. He tried getting down on the baseline. This is one of the reasons why John Paxson drafted Noah. That ability right there made it into a sensational player in college. I mean, from an X and O standpoint, they get the ball to the right guy, number four right there, Bosch. And uh, he had it where he's comfortable, on the left side, going to his left hand, and Noah shut him down. Two possession game, four point game, 20 second timeout by Toronto, 4.7 tenths of a second of remaining. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm really impressed with what Noah did there defensively. That was good execution by the Raptors. They got the ball to their horse, their stud. And that young man right there stepped forward to the task. Cannon look ahead, and Raptors right now thinking about 4.7 tenths left. But T.J. Ford and the Pacers await on Friday night in India Canseco Fieldhouse. Raptors are too concerned with that right now because a slight chance. And if I'm Vinny Del Negro right now, I tell my team, as crazy as don't play. Just stand there like statues. Right. And whatever you do, don't. No four point plays. No. No Larry Johnson. Nothing. Nothing. Because that only gets you in trouble. in a row. Barnyan